lot about the maker space and talking people into trying to build stuff on their own. We want kids to program. But uh, Raja Jasti of Zero UI has some ideas of a faster, easier way to get kids into doing programming in an easier way. So why don't you tell us about you what you're doing here? Yeah, thank you, uh, Alison, and thanks for the opportunity. So what we have here is a product called Zyro. It's a robotics kit for educational robotics kit for kids. The purpose is to make robotics simple and fun. At the same time, make sure that the, they can build whatever they want with it. So it's a kit that comes with a smart glove, and it comes with these uh, wireless motors. And these wireless motors are controlled by the smart glove. So the idea is, why don't we give superpowers to the kids, where they build their own robots and control them the way they want it, like the way you know this R2D2 is controlled by you know uh, one of our uh, team members. He's talking to someone right now. But he walked away from us. Yeah. Hey, Tanuj. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, can you can you show the little bit? So right now on the video, we've got a, a mock-up of R2D2 that some kids made. Yeah. And the other guy here is uh, controlling it with his hands. Right. And this was this was programmed by kids and built by kids. It was built by kids. A couple of kids in tech shop. They basically are big Star Wars fans. Okay. So look how how beautifully they made it. So they they they've used like a beach ball and and uh, and, and Put cardboard. It themselves. Put so it you themselves. You see the the modules that are on the on the on the legs. So the bright green underneath. You see those, Steve? That's the uh, the motors. The that motor they sell. modules and it's being controlled wirelessly by the glove. Now tell us again. You were telling me about how you, um, you they learn they learn to program this. How do they do it without yeah. learning a programming language? So there's a mobile app that shows visually what action of the hands they can you know to map to what motor actions so all they have to do is visually like they don't need to know any software they just tap my bend of a finger to move the head for example so it's a it's just simply just doing that and Okay. So, so no programming required. Yeah, it's visual programming, if you will. There's programming happening in the back end. Sure. So the idea is that you don't need to know electronics. You don't need to know software to get started. So you can build robots and you can control them. But if you want to then do advanced things, you can do with it. So, All right. Yeah. So the so, idea is to make it simple and uh, reduce the barriers. Okay. So uh, how far along is this product? Are you, when are you going to market? Yes, we actually already um, have sold uh, and uh, you know uh, 120k. Uh, what of these things to schools and uh, parents and we are going to be are you doing that and hitting her <laughs> yeah actually I'm oh. not even while I'm interviewing him he's been playing with his hand talking to me and he just ran into a group woman with gestures me. unintentional gestures there but sorry <laughs> about that uh, yeah so uh, we this product has been wildly successful in terms of schools because they they see how easy it is for for the uh, for the kids to do it and their schools have robotic clubs and you know uh, so they already have budgets for those things and then parents that want uh, fun toys for the kids but they want some educational value so these are the kinds of customers that we have and and we are just going to production and uh, uh, we're going to come to online retail soon and to physical retail by the end of uh, by, by the holiday season. Okay, very good. So how would people find more out about your products? So uh, the website for the product is Zyro, Z-I-R-O dot I-O. So that's Great. where the, the, the... Great. Thank you very much, Rasha. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it.